In this video, I thought I would answer an email that I received from a viewer. It's a very short email, and I think I have a good answer. If you have any advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave comments, other people do read the comments, and maybe you have some experience with this particular question that they have. The person's name is Dylan, and the email is very recent. Hey, all I'm wanting is some advice. Basically, my entire childhood schooling got taken away from me due to childhood cancer, and my family never got me back into studies. And it's currently a dream of mine to be able to become something in the medical field to save lives. And I'm just wondering what would be the best path for me to get to a point where I can actually join a college and get a degree in the medical field. Any advice would be great. Thanks. So I've got a bunch of stuff to say to this email and I do have some advice for you, Dylan. And again, if anyone has advice, leave a comment because maybe you have some personal experience with getting a degree in the medical field. So first, let me just say that the fact that you are thinking of getting a degree in the medical field, possibly you know becoming a doctor, is really good. A lot of people that I've known, especially students that I've had, want to be doctors. And there's a lot that have wanted to be doctors, but they feel that it's too difficult. They create barriers. They put barriers up for themselves because they say, oh, I can't do this because of you know X, Y, Z. So the fact that you don't seem to have those barriers right now seems good because you're asking and you're motivated and you want to do it. You don't say how old you are, so I'm going to assume that you're over 18 years old and perhaps you've finished high school. So step number one is make sure you finish high school. So if you haven't finished high school and you're in the US, I'll assume you're in the US, you're gonna to need to get something called a GED. But if you finish high school, you're good. As long as you have a high school diploma or a GED, you can go to college in the US. The next step is gonna to be to go to a college. You actually have to go to school and get a four-year degree in something. Now, it doesn't matter what it is. In, in the US, for law school and for medical school, you can get a four-year degree in anything and then go to those schools. But for medical school, you're gonna want certain classes like chemistry, um, you know, anatomy. You'll probably have to take some math classes. Um, usually, you know, calculus one is usually a requirement for most medical schools. They usually want you to have some calculus most students who go to medical school get some type of biology or biomedical degree because that gives them a lot of the prereqs that medical schools look for. But it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you need to get a four-year degree and then meet those, those requirements. So go to college, right? Go to college. And how you choose your college is going to highly depend on the rest of your life. You know, are you working full-time? Are you not working? Do you have money? Do you not have money? The cheapest, easiest path to go to medical school is to go to your you know, local community college and you know, sign up and start taking classes, right? And then from there, usually you can transfer to a four-year university in your state. If you stay in-state, it's cheaper. And then after that, you apply to medical school and you go. Medical school is not free in the US. It costs money. So you'll probably have to take out loans and there's probably gonna be a lot of debt. So that's typically uh, what I hear about medical school. I've had uh, several students long ago who were in my calculus classes and they did pretty well. I mean, good students and they're doctors now, right? They've become medical doctors. They're, they're treating patients. They, have, they work at hospitals. So it's possible, right? It's possible. I've seen people go from student to doctor multiple times over and over again. These students are usually very driven. They're very focused on their studies. They're very focused on their grades. They don't mess around, right? These students really, really care. They study hard for every test. They prioritize their schooling. And you kind of have to because medical school is hard, right? It's not easy. And getting into medical school is hard. And even taking the courses to get to medical school is hard. A lot of students who 
uh, want to be doctors, you know, they, they give up along the way. And that's normal for any field. You know, I've seen a lot of people give up on mathematics along the way, you know, during their bachelor's degrees. It's normal, right? When we face adversity in our studies, um, it's natural to want to give up. And I'm not saying it's wrong to give up in certain circumstances. Sometimes the path that you're taking is not the right path for you at the time. And there might be a better path, but who knows, right? Life is tough. So I say do that. You know, try to, you know, go to a college and see if you can, you know, finish and go to medical school. So that's my advice. And I think you can do it. I think that the fact that you're asking the question means that you've, you've got the desire and probably the ability to do it, right? The ability to do it. Yeah, definitely. So kind of a sad email, but the fact that you're, you're trying to do something good about it, you know, do something good with, with your life and go to medical school, I think is good. So yeah, if anyone else has advice for Dylan, leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.